Hey and welcome, it is me Hussein. So I will be your instructor in the Android section. I will teach you everything about Firebase. So first of all, what's a Firebase? Firebase is the service that Google provided for the developer to manage all the backend for your application. So think about before, if you want to have a number of users, they share, like they use social media app, what you need? You need web service, you need same sometime database, application called the web service, or RESTful API, RESTful API called the database, and many, many things you need. With Firebase, the process is really easy. Google said, okay, why all this complex process? We will create a database, name it Firebase. You just easily call that node and read or write from any node, and that's what you see it. So make the, pro make the process very easy. Same thing for push notification. Think about you want to push notification from uh, from all, from like you want to push notification to the, all the applications the other users who are using your app really easy just single click push notification all the users will get the notification you want to get analytics like how the how the people doing with your app you could do it very easy and many 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 other services that google offered in the firebase that you will go through so first of all to get started go to firebase.google.com and click get start so here you could enter your username and password you could use anyone i see this this username and password so i'm logging into the firebase he, maybe if you for first time if you are first time he will ask you something something to do like some question just go with them and that is so first of all i want to get started so to get started if you go to the get go to con, go to the document and click here get started with android you will see all the documentation of how to get started with with android very very easy steps to follow so first step we will do or first first in first section we will do it's the analytic like how, just connect our application with a firebase so how we do that okay really easy process to connect our application with the firebase first of all we open android studio then from android studio we will start creating new simple project name it firebase demo and we will continue so just think about have very empty thing so i just name it firebase demo app okay give it anything and make sure it's enable kotlin because i'm using kotlin in this tutorial so the minimum maximum i don't care because i'm teaching firebase now very empty and i click ok wait for some time until he everything be ready sound everything fine to me so i just close this one and get started so to get started with firebase i have to go to the tools from the menu then i select firebase so from the menu select tool then select firebase you will see this so first of all make sure your android studio is connected to the firebase so click here or make sure your android studio is connected to your google account then click sign in it will take you to this ask you to redirect click ok after i take you to the browser i say okay i want android studio to be able to do all these for this account bam i'm all set I just go back to my Android Studio. I will see I'm logging in with that user. That's great. Now Android Studio will automatically know which Firebase you have to write to, because this uh, ID is connected to this account. So when you want to create a new project, you will go and create it in this Firebase that related for that account. So think about now we have just these two projects that I already created them before. So let me see what we will have when you create a project so to get project just click here analytics then click login authentication see he show you this button that's me your application is not connected yet with the firebase to connect it just click connect to firebase it will take some time until he will go to the firebase and he will ask you questions he asked me two questions he said do you want to create a new project or you want to use existing project if you see the existing project firebase demo and my os app that project i already created them firebase demo and my os app or create a new project for me i want to create a new project so firebase demo you could name it firebase demo demo app very easy location united states see he now he will create it in which firebase so just connect so you will take some time until he will do everything for us. Very easy and simple process. Let me wait and see. Okay, after a while, everything sounds fine. My application, like an Android, is connected to the Firebase. If I go to the Firebase, just refresh this page, I have to see that project. So 
Yep, 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 yep. Easy peasy. Like very easy. Just single click click connected and you create the project and everything for you. If you see, this is my project, Firebase App Demo. If I click on it, I will see everything that I want. I have only one project name it com dot example dot dot firebase demo. From where this one come? From this app because this app if I go here to the bold, I would see that name com dot example dot dot firebase demo. That means yes, I, that's great. I did connect my application and I'm fine. Now I could play with all these properties that available here. If you see product cover review, he give you different type of properties you could play with Firebase development, authentication, database, storage, and many many things. And also like uh, stability, crash, something like analytics, give you something about analytics and more. So what we want to do, we want to talk about analytics. Analytics is the section like you get information about the people who use your app. What they did, what they click, how they delete the app, how many men, how many women using your apps, and many details. To get all this information from the users who are using your app, the process is really simple. So if I just go here, I say, okay, I want to do analytics, add analytics for me, accept change, bam, I should be all set. There is two more steps I have to do. First of all, after just wait for him until he add everything. First of all, I want to connect this app. So from which page I have to start? Select the main page. So to me, this one, the main page. So this is the main page. So to connect this app to Firebase, so he, I, so I will be able to read the information about the user who is using my app, what they click, what they delete, how they delete it, what button they click it, and many, many details, man, woman, interesting, and many things. Just I do this. So it's just me wait for a few seconds before I do anything. Uh, just doing something. Okay, so and he done. So to, to connect it to the Firebase, just copy this line, add it here. He will ask you to, co he will convert it to Kotlin. Say, okay, convert it to Kotlin, please. He convert that line to Kotlin. And same thing, I will copy this line and add it here after set up the layout. So doing these two lines, what the, I think this one val should be var because he was able to translate it in correct way should be var variable. For, so the, what you did, what I did is this. I say okay, define variable from analytics class. This is the first step. The second step, I want you to initialize that variable with analytics. And bam, that's all what I have to do. Now if I run my app. It's very easy to Firebase to track the user who are using this app using these two lines. So whatever he do with my app, whatever he click using these two lines allow to Firebase to track that user and provide you many information. Like, as I told you, event, what he click, audience, what the, all this information, different information. I want to show you like applications that I have already, hopefully have some data, Firebase demo, hopefully, hopefully this app. So I'll show you something like this, like if you click here, each statistic you show you the active people, what they did, what they click it, all this information, like I don't have any information here to share about the user, demographic and everything, but you just get the point, like you'll see information about that user, who click your app, who, who you, like how many men, how many active users you have. Uh, how many men, how many women, and all the information like what they are interesting from there, from where they are, and many, many interesting information. But let me just make sure these two lines connected that app to the Firebase. To make sure from that, I have to just see the console. So hopefully, the look at console. So I just make sure, I just make sure like my look at console firebase so i'm looking for firebase uh, service connection field waiting for some time okay so the complete so i'm looking for the firebase word so firebase looking if if i see in the in the connection name it's something if he say in the fire in the and the console Firebase connected, that means I'm good. 
if he didn't say that, that's mean I have some trouble. So it's not easy to find successfully. So here's it. Firebase initialize successfully. When you see this line your console, that's mean yes, you did it. You connected your application to Firebase. Now, whatever the users do anything with your app, you get you will have the information already send it to Firebase and you could track them in Firebase really easily. See how many men, how many women will learn interest from where they are and many, many information. So I will keep use this project for next upcoming videos. So make sure you have this project already. So I will just complete what I did. So here we done. Thank you for watching and see you next.